Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode. In the last episode, Abu Dhabi decided he was going to come out of the closet. He also decided he didn't want to play for us anymore. But who gives a crap about Diaby? We got this freaking guy. And he's German, which means he's like automatically amazing, right? He's also only 17, he's 6 foot 2. You can play him in the center mid, center defensive mid, right mid, center attacking mid positions. Oh, and he's also 68 as well, which actually that's not that high. Sad face. However, the main reason that we're getting this guy is because he's young, he's dumb, and he's full of enthusiasm. And because he's so young, he's going to have a massive high potential of an awesome 80-something. Could this guy be the next Mario Goetz? I don't know, I'm just buying him because he looks kind of thick there. Damn! Oh, let's not do this again. So yes, because Diaby's leaving, we're hopefully going to be bidding on Goretzka. And the fact that we're replacing a black player for a white player has no racist undertones. I promise. And I know that's not going to come off as genuine, because I'm going to make it silly. But I genuinely, I mean, Diaby was one of my favourite midfielders. I've already mentioned in the previous episode that I really don't want to let him go, but at the same time, I don't really have a choice in the matter. And I'm also pretty excited about Goretzka. I mean, he looks like he could be a very high potential and a very good player, maybe in the future. And all the while I've been perving over Goretzka, we've been bidding on players in the background. And we managed to get Luke Shaw. So I said we were looking at this guy in the last episode. We managed to get a final price of 1.9 million, offering Monreal as a freaking ransom tied up in the back of my van to bring down the price 2 million from 3.9 million to 1.9 million. He's also going to be getting a wage budget of 8,000 per week. And yeah, he's a good little player. Hopefully he's a lot better than Monreal because he's a lot younger and he's got a higher potential as well. So Luke Shaw... The first of hopefully many successful signings coming into our club. But on with the next game, which is an FA Cup match. And by the looks of things, the FA Cup run should be pretty easy as there are no teams to play against. A great success! And I'm no expert, but I'm sure to have a cup, you need teams. And I think what's happened here is we're probably in the qualifying stages and we haven't actually entered the knockout stage yet. There's no group stages like the Champions Cup or anything that I'm used to, so I'm not sure how this works. Basically, I'm an idiot. But on with the next game, which is an FA Cup match, as I've already mentioned, against MK Dons. Who are MK Dons? I have no idea. And hopefully, this is a good thing. Hopefully, this means that we're going to stomp all over MK Dons. Hopefully, it means they're not going to be a freaking underdog. A snake in the grass and come up and bite us in the trousers. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look at that goal. So Bodic is running down the wing with Jenkinson close behind him. Jenkinson goes in for the tackle and the only contact seemingly being Bodic's foot melting into Jenkinson's penis. And then Bodic manages to spectacularly fall to the floor. Whee! And I think what actually happened here is Bodic realises that he can't cross for Toffee and thought, hey, why don't I just jump on the floor? And the referee with a similar kind of stupidity thought that it was a foul. Okay, so fair enough, this happens in FIFA. This is a foul. And as a result of this decision, MK Dons gets a goal from a cross, which is a header. Which, as you all know, I really enjoy headers, especially when they're scored against me. Bearing in mind, this all happened in the first six minutes. And what proceeded to happen was even more ridiculous. The absolute pressure from Arsenal in the first half, resulting in MK Dons not even able to get the ball out of their half, resulted in many chances, one of which actually hit the bar and the post in the same shot. And at half time, I was pretty confused and annoyed. I was losing to a team and I have no idea who they are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to FIFA. And I know I'm moaning a lot in this game, but I think it's important to remember at times like these all the good times you've had. Like when, um, uh, and as the second half came, it was more of the same. I was missing chances 
that I should have been putting away. And to be fair to MK Dons, they were playing really well. They were showing a lot of spirit in this game. And to highlight that, just take a look at these two exceptional tackles, which were amazing. But from a team I've never heard of, I don't really expect this kind of performance. So three quarters into the game, I finally found out what I was doing wrong. I wasn't passing to Benteke. So here you go, Benteke. Please score for me. Okay! So things are starting to look up for Arsenal. Benteke with the awesome goal, the awesome finish that was the Lish. Are we going to get another chance in this game? Are we going to get another goal? Are we going to win against MK Dons, which is a team that we should really be winning against? So it's the 90th minute, we have possession, we're on the break, and then Koscielny dies. Fantastic. And as Koscielny hobbles off the pitch, looking like that tackle was so bad that he probably crapped himself, it's still not the end of the game. We still have a chance. It's the 90th minute. It's not the end of the game yet. Okay, now it is. Best game ever? No. So that's the end of the game. Thankfully, that is over. And also, that's the end of this episode. And I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoyed this. And if this video gave you an erection at any point, please thumbs up the video. And if this video didn't give you an erection, but you just enjoyed it like a normal person, please also thumbs up the video. And thank you very much for watching. And I know on these outros I usually have footage of the next game in the next episode window. However, I haven't actually played all of the next episodes, so here's a preview. No, you're welcome. And with that said, I'll see you all in the next week.